Hello and welcome to Wannabe Wine Baron on the Forgotten Hills. Well, we've got our vines planted, so now we have to just go and do a bit of work on them. First thing we need to do is mulch the area between the between the vines. These will be quite long processes and cannot really be automated, we kind of just have to work through them. So we'll get started, we'll do a couple of laps and then we'll do it on a time lapse for you to enjoy. Alright, let's get started down this side. We'll just mulch down here. Oh, it's probably going to be mulching a little bit into the grass areas, but not too much of a problem. Okay, so the planting went off rather well. Still got a little bit of capital to keep us going. I'm thinking a little bit about whether we should uh, look to see whether we can import any, any grapes just to get production started. But we'll worry about that once we've tended to our, tended to our vines. Other field just to the left of us here must probably not be planted until I've um, got enough money to to expand into that. So in the meantime, we will just take the grass off it as and when required. The deal is so steep that it uh, takes a little bit to stop these things. question is now can is it is this machine strong enough to go back up there? Well it is with the mulcher. I'm a bit worried when we're gonna cultivate or plow the area around here which will, which will be the next operation after we've done this. Oops, just trying to keep too too close to the to the vines. Yes, so I find this map to be, well, so far I haven't had too many problems with it or anything along those lines. It um, seems to be nice and picturesque. Well, to get around it quite easily and it does give you a lot of options to do different things. We've got a lot of, we own a lot of land and to have to work out what to do with those in the time that we've, well with the, with the, uh, with the time that we'll have while, after we've uh, prepared the vines etc. So we'll give that some thought. Which we have to take into account the actual lay of the land. We may be able to get some crop fields in somewhere but um, it could be very much secondary to this field with the, with the vines. That's our main objective. But we'll have a look. We'll have a look and see. Right, so I'm going to 
put this onto a time lapse now and once we just about finish this we'll get back to you Well, now you're back with me a lot quicker than you thought. I was uh, just busy trotting along and I got this telephone call from the... and he um, said to me he'd been flying over in the helicopter showing some of the people the, the layout of the land and he saw me mulching and fertilising and uh, burst out laughing. He said, well, you can tell that you haven't been doing you haven't uh, you haven't been in the wine industry before because it was already done when the when the when the vines were planted. So it looks like all we have to do is add a bit of fertilizer, and we should be ready to go. Already about ninety percent yield, so that's pretty good. So it saved a bit of time here. Luckily. He was showing some people around, so get this sorted. I don't think this has got too much volume. Eh? In any case, let's go in. Are we going to have to? I don't think we can get any from on the farm supply because it's a liquid. I don't think it supplies liquid. Let's just have a look quickly. And just put the zone markers on so we can see where we are. I think this was that. I don't think it will do liquid fertilizer, will it? Yeah, it does. Must be underground, the, uh, the tank. In any case, it's only 400 litres, and I'm not sure how far that's going to go. But we'll then sort it out. So he said to me that I um, wasn't sure exactly. how much fertilizer it would take if even if it, even if well wasn't sure even whether it would even be necessary but I did see the fertilizer level was only about 80 percent so when I did the soil analysis I think what we might do is I think this is where we're going to be a little bit a little bit of a problem because normally we would plant the rows very close together. So I think we're going to Have a look quickly. See ninety something percent fertilized. Oops, seventy eight. Yeah, so we can do that. Now I'm thinking. 
then I might be able to do this a bit quicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm, go I'm going to finish this one, but because we've uh, planted the, <laughs> um, the vine so far apart, we don't really need to utilize this type of spraying system. Can you utilize different fertilizing systems? I think. I'm going to go back after this, lease a couple of sp a sprayer that I think will work, and we'll see what happens. Certainly go quicker than this. Yes, I'm thinking one of those big things that can be lifted above the um, the actual vines. It's probably going to cost us a little bit of money to to do these experiments, but in the long run, it will save quite a bit in time. So worthwhile doing, I think. doesn't seem to be taking much in the way of fertilizer so doesn't need an awful lot Just want to check something out as well. That's over here. We've got it at at last eighty-one percent. Behind it, we've got at last at ninety-four percent. Let's just have a look and see what happens when we go down the other side. Okay, so we don't have to go back down both sides. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and park this up now. I'm going to start working on the experiment to Not sure we should be experimenting when we still haven't got any income coming in, but it may mean that it will um, enable us to to get through one of the stages a lot quicker. Right, so let's have a look at some sprayers. Uh, want to? And let's have a look at sprayers and see if there's anything cheaper there. I don't think so. Right, so we're going to try these. One of these vehicles, uh, one of these sprayers, and see if it'll work. So let's just go through there and we'll lease it. It's going to cost 13,209. Yep, 
Jupiter. Fertilize into it. So I think this will be high enough to go over the over the vines. Yo, let's have a look and see. That might be where the problem lies. Will that fit between the fits between the vines. Goes over the top quite nicely. get to the bottom of this and have a look and see how that's worked out. Of course we need to uh, there's the occasional little clip on the vines. So let's have a look at That's a hundred percent fertilized. Yep, works perfectly. That is now showing only eighty six percent fertilized. It's a hundred percent. Grass is a hundred percent. Grapes is at ninety five percent. It's just weird. Okay, so that's where it's fertilized too, so that's that's a hundred percent. Grapes hundred percent. Grapes hundred percent with this side. Right, so that's that's where we sprayed up until so yeah. It makes sense. Right. We will continue doing this. Do it on a bit of a time lapse, and then uh, we'll get back to you once it's done. So I think we can go over one more. Let's have a look and see. Yep, there we go. See you once it's done.
Might have just come back to me here and uh, just had got this little strip at the end to try and work it, work, work out. <laughs> so I've just narrowed the spray width and a bit of trial and error, but I think it should cover these last two. And then once we get down to the bottom, we come, we can come back up and do the little foot of the boot, if you want to call it that. Right, let's get going. Yeah, that, that's about right, yeah. We'll watch these trees now. Luckily the spray booms have uh, a bit of flexibility in them. just about finished. You might have noticed just as I was fourth changed over that uh, trying to work out exactly how to cover all the grass as well. There's a little area of grass at the bottom that hasn't been covered with extra fertilizer but yeah looks good. Let's go and have a quick check and see how it's done on this side here. 100% fertilizer, the heel bonus is 98% on the grapes, grass is the same, grapes 98, yep pretty happy with that. So that's a solution, unfortunately we can't buy the sprayer yet, but we will be looking to buy one for the near future, we will just have to lease it whenever we need to spray. added cost of course but it um, doesn't use an awful lot of fertilizer so we've still got quite a bit of fertilizer left here. Just going to offload that and then we'll put that up, find a place to store that. And load why get that returned. So that was a good good little uh, find. Enjoyed that. So that's actually cut down my intended work for the day quite substantially. One by a flyover of a helicopter and a knowledgeable land agent. And one by just my own little bit of forethought. So we can just leave that. fertilizer in there. We'll still use that maybe on the edges or I don't know we will still have a look and see. We don't know where we're going to go to. I'm not going to sell that equipment yet. We're still going to have to do that selective plowing and mulching. Although the mulching we guess probably do with the big tractor as well but the plow we don't want to plow up the grass so or we don't we don't want to plow, plow up much of the grass should i say i've just had some news from the market that um, there's some grapes available for sale so i'm just going to have a quick look and see what we need 
in the um, wine producing and uh, grape juice producing factory um, to see whether it'd be worthwhile buying some in and getting this started in the interim while we're waiting for our, our grapes to grow. Yeah, so we need grapes, water, which we've already got plumbed in, and pellets, which we can buy. So it's a question of buying in grapes from the um, from the global market. I don't know how much they have. We'll go and have a check it out. We'll, we'll go and check it out and see what they what they got. Just get back to the the farm. We can uh, get on the old computer and have a look and see what's available. I don't think we'll be putting on. Well, I don't think we'll be buying a huge amount, but let's just have a look and see what is the. It doesn't say the capacity. It's, well, for the amount that I'm thinking about buying, maybe twenty or thirty thousand liters, um, that's not going to be a problem. I think it was. Well, actually, I know. I don't know how much there was in there, what the capacity is, but yeah. So let's have a look and see what it costs. So it's uh, one thousand two hundred ninety-seven uh, at least euros per thousand litres. We'll go into the grape and silage, we'll buy 20,000, get us going. It'll also give us an idea of it to see how the whole operation works. Yeah, let's get that. That's bought. And we'll go and jump into the beast, see if it'll pull this trailer. I think it will. This is a specialized grape trailer. Very nice piece of kit. Opens up both ways, so you can uh, fill it from from either side, left to right, as you're looking looking at it from the back. So you just hit. So you just you go open from that side and then you just reset it and it'll open on the other side. So I think it was uh, I think it was left bump and up and the up um, the up arrow on the D pad to um, for controllers that is. In any case that's Good capacity, 12,000 litres. Let's look another 8,000 in there. We'll come fetch it. We'll put it all, we'll put it all into the into the winery. It's a good looking trailer as well. Just happens to colour match our beast as well. And that wasn't intentional at all, actually. Just happened that way. <laughs> in any event, let's get this in. I think we just need to reverse up to the reception grate. Very keen to see this um, this mod oper operating. We'll go through the whole thing as well, so you can see it in all its glory. So this uh, mod was. Um, not available on ModHub. It's for PC only, of course, um, because it's an outside mod. Um, I downloaded it, it from King Mods. I didn't have any problem with downloading it and installing it. So far, touch wood. <laughs> right, so that's that lot done. Let's go and have a look and see what. So we need water. So we're going to need a water tanker. Um, that'll do. We don't need to spend a huge fortune on the water tanker. We'll do our little water trick because we've installed um, water pumps uh, 
right next to the um, to the trigger point for for filling water. I think well, we might as well just put in the I'm trying to get ahead of myself there. What I really should do is just fill this up, get the rest of this delivered, and then we will. Uh, and sort out the water. Let's get back to the winery. Same operation as the last time. <laughs> Yeah, these um, these type of um, mods that are on Mod Hub are um, very detailed, and um, yeah, well, stay till the end because we'll go through the whole operation and the animation inside the factory is pretty good. We'll walk you through the whole thing. Right, so that's that lot done. So now we need the water and we need pallets. So let's get back to the to the farm. It's a point four of a pallet. So every pallet is going to take two. These are two cycles, um, two and a bit. Yeah, it just seems a strange ratio. We'll see. We'll get we'll get nine or ten pallets to see how far that gets us. It's not too far to go to get it sorted out. I tend to just skirt to the side when I go come into the farm um, to um, get the smoothest riding past the past the um, the workshop. It's not too bad, really. It's just a bit of fun. <laughs> Didn't want to do too much landscaping around there. It's kind of smoothed it out and got it to a reasonable level quite useful to have that little bit of change of elevation just so that you know when you're in the um, trigger point. Right, we'll pick up the trailer and we'll head off to the to the winery again and get that filled up. Yep, I was just holding my breath to see whether it would connect up to that but it does so uh, looks like it's going to connect up to most most trailers. You can actually add a uh, three-point hitch at the back of this um, of the beast as well. So, yeah, very versatile piece of equipment, especially for this operation that we that we have here. Trying to make this a one-way system. Look for some road signs eventually. It's only really me, so it's not a not a real problem, but. Yeah, I think it's would just add a bit to put in some more road signs. I just put in the parking sign. Right, so let's get that filled up and and we get our normal operation going. Filling and emptying at the same time basically works really well. I know the other mods that can take care of that. Well, there, there we go. That's it. Done. Full. Can find a place to park the trailer. 
maybe you can put it next to this white van white lorry no 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 wait a minute we've got that little area just behind the the loading trigger with the grape trigger point there we go ideal spot for plant for planting <laughs> for parking trailers we've already got our flatbed there perfect might look to put a little lean to cover type thing in there eventually right so that's that done now we need to go back and uh, yeah really going against my own rule of one-way system <laughs> didn't take long did it <laughs> uh, in any case let's go and uh, let's go and buy some pallets not sure how much they're going to cost it shouldn't be that expensive I wonder if you have to use the pellets that come with the mods. I wonder if you can just use buy normal pellets or make your own pellets for us. Be interesting to find out. So there we go, that's the mod pellets. They call it the vinery or vinery. I would call it a winery, but no problem. So let's get I went for ten of those I know. But uh, my counting let me down. I only picked up nine so <laughs> there we go let's get these loaded up I think we can get the, all those loaded into the back of this of the beast should fit in there it's probably piled pretty high but yeah I'm liking this little mod very versatile little piece of equipment as I said earlier on especially for this operation pellets are pretty light so we should be able to pick them up yep no problem just get these all loaded as quickly as possible going to be a bit like reverse Jenga really piling these on top there make sure that, that it doesn't topple over before we can get the straps on <laughs> I just speeded it up a bit there we go so far so good That's the last one, I think. It's a crucial one to make sure it doesn't fall down. Doesn't look very stable, does it? jump in and put the straps on and we'll head off back to the uh, to the winery and go and put these into the into the factory or to the into the winery it's nice to be having this bit of rain at this point in time since we just put the fertilizer on the grapes so that it'll enable it to sink in get down to the roots get all that fertilizer working so I think the uh, offload point is around the back of the of the, of the winery near the um, output point so those gates those um, garage doors or those doors to the to the right there are the um, it's where the product will come out. There we go. So it can t looks like it can take quite a bit more there. It is, of course, presuming it fills that whole area up. 
Right, let's go and park this in the front and we'll get the operation started. We'll take you through a tour of the factory or of the winery. I keep calling it, well, I suppose a winery is a factory of sorts. I don't think we can uh, start the machinery from here, the process from here. Switch that on. Yep, we'll activate it. Yes, it's showing very little pellets, but um, we'll see. We shall see. It's a strange number, 32,000 litres for water to appear. Six litres of pellets, so you know, I don't quite know how it's going to equate. My brain's not uh, clever enough to work it out exactly. We'll just see what happens. Right, so there's the worker bringing in the grapes. So he goes and collects it from the outside, puts it on the trolley, brings it in. This goes into the washing station. Should load up from there. like to have people having multiple actions so you'll just feed it in and make sure it all gets in pro nice and smoothly go through the wash and get, oh, wash the grapes off take off all any unnecessary stalks and leaves as such that might be included in there there we go and we've got this young lady Doing final sorting, just taking out any of the bad grapes, anything that might be looking rotten. Not worried about a little bit of bruising and that type of stuff, it's just the ones that are, look like they're rotten and might have a bit of mold or something like that on them. It's just a bit of quality control. And they go into a, to another crate at the end. So it's not hugely labour intensive. The, basically, uh, the rest is automated. This is the sort of period or the, the labour intensive part of the process is the bringing of the grapes in. It's the bottling station. holding tanks right, so we should be just about getting this container full it shouldn't be too long now it looks like it's finished there Yeah, it looks like it's been a long day for this fella. Right, so we'll get this crate into the crusher or the stomper or the vet. In traditional operations it'll be the vet and you'll have the traditional people jumping around in it. <laughs> we don't have to do that. Once that's done, he'll go and get, take his crate back and go and get, start the process all over again. So it gets crushed, gets, the water gets included, goes into the fermentation tanks there. Gets fermented and then uh, into the bottles. She's going to have a little break. No rest for the wicked.
should be just about coming out there. There is. Uh, I'll just go out and collect the next. The next crate, and it starts all over again. Really nice uh, mod. See them, a nice little rest. Not very. Not very environmentally health friendly with all the pipes lying around, but there's only two people in this, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So it's one gets bottled and boxed there, and then the pallets are used. And I think the collection is made from just inside the door there. And that's the, uh, the one operation. Very nice, I like it. Well, let's get back to the farm. And I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Do hope you've enjoyed it. Do hope you've enjoyed the adaptations we've made for fertilizing. I think it'll work quite well. And I really hope you've enjoyed the tour through the through the vinery. There we go. Hundred percent fertilized. Not not quite a hundred percent yield, but not far off. In any case, that's where we're going to end it. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.